Okay, everybody, it's Rick Silva. Five tips for networking event success. If you've ever said, I go to networking events, I hate them. I go to networking events. I don't get anything out of it. I go to networking events. People are always trying to sell me their stuff. I'm there and I get exhausted. It just wears me out. It just does not feel natural. With the five tips, here we go. Tip number one. You wear your name badge on the right side. This is why. Because at an event, now, what we're going to be doing for the for the time being is we're going to do a fist bump or an elbow. But naturally, when you approach somebody, your right hand is going to go forward. The name badge is going to come forward. So if you had a name badge on the left side, the badge actually goes back and they can't see your name. So you want to put your name badge on the right so it faces them and they're comfortable at a networking event and they can see your name and when they when they meet you and shake hands with you they can greet you by saying your name if you're uncomfortable at a networking event it might be because you're not a natural salesperson and or you're going there trying to sell always remember never ever go to a networking event trying to sell you're going to a networking event to look for referral partners and referral partners only if you're going there to look for your next client then you're going to a sales event not a networking event Selling is looking for clients. Networking is looking for referral partners. If you're going to a networking event looking for clients, then the next time you go, no one's going to want to talk to you because you are an uncomfortable salesperson trying to sell your stuff everywhere you go. No one's going to want to be around you. So number one, name badge on the right. Number two, you might be uncomfortable at the event because you're trying to sell. Number three, always, and I mean always, let them speak first. So now you can see what I've been talking about. Number one, name badge on the right. Number two, if you're uncomfortable, it might be because you're trying to sell instead of trying to help and instead of trying to find referral partners. Number three, always let them speak first. So we're going to go down to number four and we're going to bounce around. So number three is always let them speak first. Number That was number three. Number four, they say, hey, what do you do? So every networking event you've ever been to, that's 99.999% of the time. That's the question. You walk into somebody go, hey, what do you do? Or they walk up to you and they say, what do you do? If somebody comes up to you and says, what do you do? Which is in that first blank in number four. I want you to look at number three and always let them speak first. If you come up to me in an event and say, hey, Rick, what do you do? I say, you know what? When I come to events like this, I want to meet great people like you and find out what they do to see how I can help them. And just because I'm generally interested in what other people do, they're going to pass out on the floor. Somebody says, hey, what do you do? Your response is, I, I come to events like this to meet great people like you. Would you mind if you told me what you did first? So number four, it says, they say, you say, they say, what do you do? You say, when I come to events like this, I'm looking to meet great people like you. Could you tell me what you do first? The reason you're doing that is because people don't care at an event when they first meet you, they don't really care. They ask you what you do for one reason. In their mind, they're going, boy, I hope this answer isn't very long because I really just want to tell him what I do. I really don't care what he does. I just care about myself. I want to tell him what I do. So what we do is we oblige. And when somebody says, hey, Rick, what do you do? I say, no, no. when I come out, I want to meet people like you. I'm more interested in you. I'm. Let's talk about you first. What do you do? You get them to speak. When they're done speaking, they're going to think you're the greatest communicator ever because you didn't talk. They're going to fall in love with you because you let them speak first. And then when it's your turn to speak, they are going to be listening. Now, you have to have a really good avatar and a really good elevator pitch. And I have programs on that on my One Referral Away website, One Referral Away. If you're interested in learning avatar from me, an elevator pitch, that's where you'd plug that in. The last one is called the halo effect. You're treated based on your appearance. You don't want to have anything too flashy or things jumping out or tape on your glasses or a mohawk. Uh, you you want to look kind of muted a little bit. Like my watch face matches my shirt. Blue watch face, blue shirt stuff kind of blends in. Uh, I don't have anything that really stands out. The halo effect is this. You don't want your auto mechanic wearing a three-piece suit at a networking event. We don't want the financial planner wearing shorts and thongs. Thong shoes, shoes you wear on your feet. We want to dress the part of how we want to be treated as a professional networker. Five tips for networking success. Name badge on the right. Don't go to sell, look for referral partners. Always let them speak first. They say, hey, what do you do? You say, I'd like to know what you do first. I'm always looking to meet great people. And the halo effect is 
dress and have an appearance based on how you'd like to be treated as a professional. Hope you enjoyed it. Have, have fun out there networking. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>